the stuff. Because it's all in this item box. Alright, I'm afraid that herb's gonna have to go. Only two shots with the shotgun. And yeah, grenade launcher's dead to me, and... Yeah, there's nothing else in this side box. Alright, well, I guess that's gonna be it then. As for the shotgun, I don't know if I'm going to get any more ammo for it, but we'll see what happens. Quick, I'm gonna go get a ink ribbon. Cause I just happen to remember that there's some in this room. Yep. So I do want to save right before the Lisa battle. The way I'm going to do this battle is different than any I've done so far. See, I just realized that it's possible I might not be getting Barry's gun. Because what I'm going to do is give him it back, but I'm still going to get him killed here by Lisa. I think it's possible to still kill him if you don't keep her off him or something like that. We'll find out in a second. I'm also going to push all the statues off. so I don't expend any bullets here. Jill, you're alive. I was worried, because I thought you were... Start talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. to talk. Jill, hand me my gun! Thanks, Jill. Alright, we're gonna see in a second here.
go for Barry. Go for Barry, please. Yeah, unfortunately, doing it like that, you do not get Barry's gun. So that is, like, almost the absolute worst way you can do it. Shit. Uh, well, I'll be fine without it. I got everything I need, right? Yeah, I got the two books here. Might as well open them up now. What the... Use up those last two shotgun shells, I guess. <laughs> Explosive headshot. bad. Well, I hope they don't give me trouble on using the fuel cell. There it is. Okay. Yeah, little Easter egg there. See, the reason it didn't work in the first playthrough, I don't know why exactly. A little, little glitch that the testers didn't see, I guess. But yeah, maybe it's because I'm in hard or real survival that they did remember to put it in for Jill. It does work in Chris's normal, though. But yeah, so the easter egg is if you do type in mole, which was the password for the original PS1 version, it lets out a voice, a sound bite, that was part of Tofu in Resident Evil 2.
I don't really even need this room except for shotgun shells. Let's grab those real quick. I just need to destroy that one, really. For the sake of this thing. <laughs> of headshot. I needed that. I'll be pissed if these things are crimson heads now. It doesn't look like they are. Good. Yep, you just gotta be fast and you could avoid them entirely. I'm gonna fight the tyrant, so I have plenty of magnum ammo. Mm. 
Wesker. <laughs> Barry's a disappointment. It's too bad he wasn't much of a poker player. You were behind all of this. <laughs> Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. So having stars nosing about is an inconvenience. <laughs> You're just like all the other things. A slave of Umbrella. <laughs> Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. That will be the end of my connection with Umbrella. What? What are you planning? I want to show you something. Ultimate life form. Tyrant. You couldn't have been experimenting on people. <gasps> it's beautiful. For the sake of this thing? You'll never understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'll deal with you, freak. leaving. Wow. 
finish the game without saving anyone. <laughs> it was actually an achievement for that. Mansion's not gonna explode. Tyrant's on the loose yet again. Now one less person to possibly take him out in the future. But then again, this isn't canonical, so who cares? Alright. Let's get the damn credits. Jill, you did a fine job. Alright. You had another different picture due to having a different outfit. Another achievement, the survival horror. Oh, finish the game in real survival, hell yeah! Damn right. I've done it. Alright. Well, that's gonna end that. <laughs> and now try to survive with invisible enemies. Yep, I just unlocked that mode. And that will be the next mode. If I would have to load this in order to have invisible enemy, that's true. quite a few modes now all right well that's the end of my fifth playthrough end of real survival totally capable of doing it should all know that by now all right the next playthrough game number six will be Jill's final playthrough as well as an attempt at invisible enemy mode However, even though the enemies are invisible, I feel like, after playing this game five times so far already, that I know exactly where every enemy is placed. But there are little indicators here and there, even though the enemy is invisible. Apparently you'll be able to see their footprints in certain areas, as well as, like, see their breath, and maybe even their shadow. So, little things like that will help me out in invisible enemy mode. Another thing is, I'm going to make Invisible Enemy Mode extremely easy, because in that mode, you can still choose your difficulty. And what I'm going to do is do a mode that I haven't done yet, <laughs> and just to see how ridiculously easy the game could be, we're going to do it in very easy mode, <laughs> in which I believe all the ammo is doubled, and yeah, enemies probably deal like little damage, and I deal a lot of damage, something like that. But yeah, we're going to make the final playthrough with Jill extremely easy, even though the enemies are invisible. Little interesting take on it. Alright, well until then people, this is Shanksion94, aka the Gamer Shankster. Rate, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at Shankster underscore 94. Check out my Facebook page. Support me on Patreon if you wish. But shout out to Wyatt Chatron for being my one and only patron as of right now. Alright, peace out. I'll see you guys in the 6th and final Jill playthrough. Alrighty.